Hey skaters, welcome back to the Moxie Skates YouTube channel. My name is Roller Ghoulie and this series is Welcome to the Streets. My name is Carly Craig, also known as Roller Ghoulie on Instagram. A lot of my skate friends call me Ghoulie. I am from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois, and I'm 28 years old. I've been skating for almost nine years. This series is all about street skating. You might wonder what is street skating, but don't worry, I'm gonna go over that. In today's episode, I'm gonna be telling you my skate story as well as what street skating is and what it means to me. If you've been listening and you don't even know what I'm talking about and maybe you're not sure what street skating even is, <laughs> let me explain it a little bit. So oftentimes when you hear street skating, most people think about literally skating on the street. So you're just cruising around on the streets or the sidewalk or bike path or the boardwalk or the beach or whatever. Other forms of extreme sports refer to street skating as a more aggressive version um, of the sport. So in skateboarding and in inlining, street skating is actually doing grinds, um, skating and doing gaps. So you're literally out there in the cities, in the streets, um, using different obstacles that you see out there in the wild. And those of us that are street skaters are usually misinterpreted as um, just like cruising around. And there's nothing wrong with cruising around, but they're very different things. And I feel like that isn't helping um, street skating with its lack of acknowledgement. My skate story. Let's go back to the very beginning. I kind of grew up in an area that was in the middle of nowhere, you could say. We didn't have access to roller rinks necessarily. I only went to a couple parties as a kid at roller rinks, so I didn't really have any skating experience growing up. And then as I got older, I was in high school and I started hanging out with a lot of skateboarders. And so my life was really immersed in skateboard culture from high school and on. I tried skateboarding myself, I was pretty bad at it, but mostly I was too embarrassed around all of my dude friends <laughs> to really put effort in to learn because it was hard to fall and mess up in front of them when I was like one of the only girls hanging out with them. I was at a sports store, I saw a pair of roller skates and I thought, hey, I'll try this at the skate park. I brought my $40 pair of roller skates to the skate park and needless to say, they were not very good roller skates. But of course my friends, they gave me a hard time. It would make fun of me and they'd say like, nobody does that on roller skates. So I also put that aside and kind of tossed them away in my closet for a few years. And then when I was 18 years old, I decided to try out for a local roller derby team. Pretty much when I started roller derby, I immediately started skate park skating as well. My ex-boyfriend was a skateboarder, so I would go to the skate park with him and I would just try to figure out how to roll up and down ramps. And I didn't even know that anybody else out there in the world was doing the same thing I was doing. And this was in 2011 or 2012. <laughs> so um, it was definitely something that was new. There wasn't a ton of videos out there of other people doing it, so I thought I was alone in the world trying this by myself and I was really lost with it. Somewhere along the first year of my skate journey, messing around with the skate park at the same time as I'm learning roller derby, I somehow stumbled upon Michelle Stylin's video of her Bones Bearings video where she was skating in the street. And that was the first time in my life I had ever seen anybody skating like that, like in a, an aggressive fashion. Um, they were doing 540s and 360s off of gaps and other obstacles. They were doing different stall variations on obstacles and I had never seen that before. And that was the first like moment where I realized that this is possible and what I'm working towards is not just foolish. It is something that can really be done. And it was shortly after that that I met Bambi Bloodlust and I also met a couple other local girls that were doing uh, similar things as me, practicing in the skate park, building up their tricks and their skills so I started skating more with them and I learned a ton from Bambi and once her and I started skating together our skill levels just kept progressing because we would feed off of each other and kind of practice what you know one another hadn't learned yet and we would teach each other different things and at that time there still wasn't um, a ton of skaters like there are now it has progressed enormously in the past couple of years 
but back at this time, it was a very small community. Once everyone started getting onto Instagram and sharing their videos, we all pretty much knew each other by name. We knew what each other's style was like. We knew what type of skating everybody was into because we all knew each other. It was such a small community. I saw something that I didn't think even existed at all in just a couple of years start progressing to the point where there were small competitions happening, there were small teams forming, there were new companies coming up. Um, so I feel really honored to be able to say that I got to see a lot of that happen. So when I was in Long Beach and I met the um, Moxie Skate team of what it was at the time, I also met Michelle Stylin or Estrogen, who was the one who had the Bones videos. So that was definitely a highlight for me because they were my skate idol at the time and actually still are, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so after meeting them, it even added more passion and inspiration to my skate journey and made me want to push harder and drive harder. And they're such an amazing skater. So being able to see them in person and feel their energy and watch their energy as they skated was really helpful in my journey. I always knew that when I started skating, I wanted to put my focus on street skating specifically because of my background with my skateboard friends in high school. I always so badly wanted to be a part of that culture. Just the fact that they would spend almost every weekend that they had, every free weekend they had, when we were in high school, they'd be out there filming clips, seeing the final product of a skate video that they had put together of everyone that was in their crew. And I felt like I was a part of the crew, but I could never really be a part of that because I wasn't skating. I always knew that I wanted to be able to experience that in my life and I didn't think I would ever be able to. So once I started getting a bit better at roller skating, I knew that that's where I wanted this to go. When I first started trying to do skate park stuff, I was really trying to figure out how to skate rails and skate ledges and things like that. But the industry had a long way to come still when it came to grind blocks and wider trucks that you see so commonly used now. Um, but I was still trying because I knew I wanted to go that direction. Bambi and I would always be training similar stuff together. So her and I were both kind of training ourselves for a future of street skating. I had the idea of doing a full length street skating edit of roller skating, which to my knowledge, there was none that existed that was a full length street video of just street skating on roller skates. So I wanted to be able to put that together with all the people, all the skaters that focused their energy on street skating and that I knew would really show what was possible in street skating on roller skates. We had skaters from Spain and Argentina, America, different states in America, Mexico, um, Colombia, skaters from all over. And I picked a few people that have main parts in the video and we all just started filming. We all started um, working on our individual parts. So we had our own filmers, we'd be going out on our own trying to get street clips. We even did a couple tours with the group. We went to Austin and we went to LA um, and we skated together. And that still is the highlight of my skate journey is putting that video together and sharing it with a group of people. And that video is called Street Fighters. We'll put the link below if you want to check it out. Doing that video just like drived the passion of street skating for me. And I am still to this day like full on wholeheartedly invested in street skating and its importance and why I think there needs to be more focus on street skating in the roller skate community. And it has absolutely grown. There are a lot more skaters that are skating rails and doing ledges and jumping stair sets, things like that. And that is awesome. I love to see it because I feel like that is the direction that I've always wanted roller skating to go, especially in the aggressive style of the sport. My goals for the future are to continue to street skate, obviously, but also to continue to put out street parts. I've put out a couple already, but I really want to get more consistent about putting out videos. So I feel like putting out the fuller length street parts is important to me because it shows kind of the process that goes with skating and all the work that you put into something. Because usually these projects, they happen over a span of months of time and sometimes years depending on how long it takes you to put something like that together. So I feel like the more people that put out street sections, there's gonna be so much more inspiration towards others to get out there and try street skating. And it will show the industry and companies how important street skating is and how important these videos are. And hopefully spark that passion in a lot more people so that it's something that is just commonly seen in roller skating.
Obviously, I'm very passionate about street skating. The reason I think it is so important is if you look at other skate cultures that have already existed for years and years, such as skateboarding and inlining, street skating is a huge part of the sport and it's extremely crucial to a lot of the skate teams that exist out there and to most of the brands that exist out there. It's almost like becoming a lost art, but it's still very much alive in these other sports and I just want us to bring that into roller skating because I feel like it will progress our sport and when you get together with a group of people and you're putting together a video of street skating like that and you're going out there on the streets and you know you're just getting <laughs> you're getting really raw with it and you know you know it's like something that you can't really explain until you experience it but it's something that I would never want to take away from what my experience has been and I really want to share that with other people and I want others to experience that as well. So with all of that said, I would love to introduce you to street skating by giving you some tips and tutorials to get you started. I'm going to be going over some of the basics and foundational skills that helped me when I first started street skating as well as some more advanced tricks that will help you if you've already been into street skating but you want to just push it to the next level. And I'll also just be throwing in a lit little bit of knowledge and information here and there of how I got started, things that might help you when you're actually out there on the street, what to look for, things like that. For the most part, a lot of these tutorials are going to be filmed either in my barn here <laughs> or at an indoor skate park because the street is just a little bit different and a little bit more difficult to skate than um, skate parks or the DIY stuff because they're made specifically for skating. So a lot of this you're going to see at the skate park or indoors and this is just to give you those foundational skills that will make you feel comfortable to get out there. Please stay tuned for the rest of the series. Thank you so much for watching this and listening to me ramble about my skate story, but hopefully it's inspired someone out there to get into street skating and I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the series. Make sure you subscribe to be notified when the next episode is out.